Computation is a great lens for trying to understand the world. Programming is fundamentally a creative act. My own work seeks to understand biological systems as a kind of computation. To look at biological systems and say, what is the information processing task that these living, gooey, messy cells and molecules are actually accomplishing? As a child, I had asthma and spent a lot of time on the couch reading. I did my undergraduate at a place called St. John's College, which is a four-year non-elective program reading the great books. I loved math and science, but math in particular, but I also loved reading and literature and philosophy. I really got this interdisciplinary mind because we did math and science and literature and philosophy, but a lot of the ideas that were important in those works cut across all the different modes. I wrote my senior thesis on a mathematical proof that introduced the idea of computable numbers. That was really my path into computer science. I did my master's degree and PhD at the University of Michigan. My first job after I graduated, I ended up working with computers. I started putting together these ideas about mathematical logic and computable numbers with the actual software work I was doing. At the time when I graduated from college, science in particular was not very interdisciplinary. Around the 2000s, there was this realization that interdisciplinary interactions could be productive and that there was a lot of very interesting research to be done at the boundaries between different fields. And computer science is sort of the natural glue for all that. I love interacting with students. Seeing a student who is trying to do something that they know is too hard, they think they can't possibly solve this problem or write this program, and helping students get the courage and the tenacity to keep working on something even if they don't know how to solve it or don't know that they can solve it. And then seeing that aha moment when they actually succeed doing it. When a student thinks up an idea that we haven't thought of ourselves, that's a good idea. That's very exciting. Kind of to see your students flap their wings and fly places that I never thought of flying.